money destroys the sovereignty of the state. It's a very simple principle. Who pays the piper dictates the tune. Mm -hmm. And that one dollar puts us into slavish submission to every whim and demand of an usurped power. So this is what your legislators are supposed to be living up to. <coughs> so where does the state power come from, right? The duty of the state and local legislator is to support the Constitution of the United States, which, by the way, at the exact same time supports the Constitution of the state of California. Because they mirror each other in many ways. So what is the origin of state power? If we're going to talk about how does the state have power, we need to know where the state power came from. Now, I don't know if you have a pocket constitution with you, but if you do, try and follow along there. We're going to go through the Declaration of Independence. So in your pocket constitution, find the Declaration of Independence and then go to the last paragraph. Now, we just came out of a holiday, didn't we? Please don't tell me it was 4th of July. Every country on the planet that operates by the Roman calendar has a 4th of July. We do not celebrate the 4th day of July. What do we celebrate? Independence, Independence Day. Do you know, I, I have a theory that, I don't know if you've seen Mark Dice or any of the man on the street things going around to these, these 